MailChimp Tutorial 2023, how to use MailChimp for email marketing, full in-depth tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use MailChimp for great email marketing in 2023. So I'm really excited to be here with all of you today and to share my knowledge and experience with MailChimp. Now, as we all know, email marketing is an extremely essential component of any successful online business. And MailChimp is one of the most popular email marketing platforms available today. With MailChimp, you can create and send beautiful email campaigns to, you know, your subscribers, um, to people who follow you, automate your marketing messages, and analyze your results to improve your performance over time. So in this tutorial, I'm going to cover everything you need to get started with MailChimp and take your email marketing to the next level, basically. I'm going to cover topics such as setting up your account creating and designing email campaigns, managing your context, analyzing your performance, and just discussing the whole general dashboard of MailChimp. So let's get started. To start ourselves off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the MailChimp website, MailChimp.com, and click on Start Free Trial. Now, once you do that, as you can see, you have four different discrete plans. Okay, first of all, there's the premium plan, there's the standard plan, there's the essential, and there's, there's the free plan. Now, you can get a free trial for the standard and essentials, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead with a free one, click on sign up for free. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using a temp mail to, you know, uh, do all my workings with MailChimp for now. But if you want to do this for the long run and do proper email marketing, make sure to use a proper email. So I'm going to add that. It's going to automatically choose a username for us. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and add a password. And once I do that, uh, just go ahead and click on sign up. Now, once you click on sign up, what's going to happen is uh, it's going to basically take you through all these steps. First, uh, it's going to ask you to verify yourself. So we're just going to go ahead and activate our MailChimp account. So here we are. Let's go ahead and activate the account. Now, once our account is active, as you can clearly see, it's going to load us uh, into the sign up form where you're going to see, you know, all the confirmation and setup settings. So let's just wait for this to load up quickly. And here we are. So tell us a bit about you. So obviously choose your uh, name. Now, once you have chosen your name, choose your business name. Now your business name could be, you know, I'm going to call it John's uh, News Shack. Let's call it that. You can always change it later. So it's pretty unnecessary to add it right now. But uh, yeah, let's just add it. Then the phone number, which is totally optional. You can keep it blank if you want to. Like, obviously, I'd understand why you don't want to do that. Then obviously, you have to add your business address to follow anti-spam laws. Your address will appear in the footer of every email you send with MailChimp. So basically, you're going to add your address. So just add a proper address. And once you do that, what's your top goal with MailChimp? We'll get you started with personalized recommendations based on your focus. So it could be drive sales, revenue or conversions send emails people find helpful or entertaining and then grow my list of email subscribers so you obviously can choose just one of these or you can skip these if you want to i'm gonna go with this for now okay uh then just click on next once you do that great what do you want to explore first so don't worry you can still check out every part of mailchimp you can explore emailing first which is engaging your audience with beautiful branded emails then there's automations which uh, you can use to send automated emails based on customer behavior and engagement then there's sign up forms gather new subscribers with pop-up or embedded forms now don't worry while you're watching this uh i'm gonna be discussing all of this so don't worry, we're not going to leave anything out. Trust me. So uh, for now, I'm just going to go with email, you know, your basic um, thing to start up with. And once we've done that uh, here, they're going to say how many email subscribers do you, you know, actually have. So an estimate will do. We'll recommend ways to grow and manage your audience based on your answer. So how many email subscribers do you actually have? None yet. I'm just getting started. 500 or fewer, 500 till 5,000, 5,000 till 20,000, etc. I'm going to go with 500 or fewer for now. Uh, and once you do that, how do you sell to your customers? Select all that apply. We'll recommend automations, app, and other features tailored to the way you do business. So how do you sell? It could be, you know, your own website or online store, an online marketplace, could be social media or person to person. This, you can choose multiple. 
So I'm going to go with I'm not currently selling right now and just go ahead with this and want to import your brand. Enter your website URL and we will basically import your logo, images and colors and fonts into our custom email design. It's pretty sweet. Now you can just, you know, import your website over here. I don't have one, so I'm just going to skip. How should we stay in touch? Select the emails you would like to receive from MailChimp and the companies. So you could just keep this blank because obviously a lot of people just hate when they get random emails. And once you do that, here we are. Here's your four different discrete plans. Okay. First of all, there's the premium plan, uh, as you can see, where you can get unlimited audiences, customer support, etc. And obviously there is the respective uh, standard and essentials that you can check out. But we're going to go with the free one, obviously. And here we are. You're on your way. Let's get started creating emails that will keep your audience engaged with you. So here we are. We have headed into the mainframe and uh, here we are going to, you know, just talk more in uh, depth about uh, how things work over here. So first of all, this is your main dashboard. OK, now, like once you've created your whole account, uh, you can see the dashboard where you can access all of the features and tools that are essentially available to you using MailChimp. The first thing you will want to do is connect your social media accounts to MailChimp. Why do you want to do this is because this will basically allow you to share your email campaigns on your social media channels and grow your, you know, main subscribers list. So to do this, simply click on the connected sites tab in the dashboard and follow the prompts to connect your account. So to connect your, you know, uh, sites and stuff, all you're going to do is uh, you can just go on uh, maybe if you, you could go with integration and uh, stuff like that. Or you could also, you know, go with automations where you can connect with other sites if you want to. But, uh, you know, before doing that, uh, we do need to, um, you could say, understand how these things actually work, how MailChimp actually works. So you could go ahead and connect your sites later if you want to. You can also like see that setting uh, once you're into, you know, your main settings of the uh, account. So here, if you come on, you know, the whole profile settings and uh, all that stuff, you can access that stuff from there if you want to later on. Now, basically, uh, once we've, you know, discussed the connected sites and stuff next, you will want to import your contact list into MailChimp. You can do this by clicking on the audience tab in the dashboard and selecting import contacts. Now, here's your audience tab. OK, and this is your audience dashboard. Now you can import contacts by uh, clicking on add your contacts and stuff like that. And obviously you don't I really have a good MailChimp uh, overview if you don't have any contacts to contact. So do make sure that you have contacts by clicking on add your contacts. Okay. Now, once you click on add your contacts, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to get a whole import list, which you're going to use to import all the different users to your, you know, MailChimp. So how would you like to add contacts? Now here are the different ways you can import from another service, like add contacts automatically from tools you already use. Then there's upload a file where you can import contacts from a CSV or a tab delimited TXC file, or there's copy and paste. Okay. So let's go with import from another service. Now here are the existing services or future contacts. So you can get Zapier, Salesforce, WooCommerce, QuickBooks online, Squarespace commerce, and Shopify. Basically you can use all of these to, uh, you know, Keep your contacts in sync and everything and much more. So uh, just choose one of them to integrate with your MailChimp because uh, obviously it just makes life much easier for you when it comes to, you know, talking about MailChimp and everything. So now that, you know, we've uh, discussed all that, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, discuss all the different aspects of, you know, your MailChimp. So the first aspect that comes with your MailChimp is, you know, the audience tool. Now, you're probably wondering what the audience tool actually is. So the audience tool is a pretty interesting tool, to be honest. So the audience tool, which, uh, you know, can be found uh, over here uh, in this uh, side. OK, now in the audience tool, as I stated, 
you get tons and tons of uh, different, you could say, uh, options. Let's say, okay? Let's call it options for now. So these options basically, uh, you could say, allow you to uh, engage with, as it says, your audiences that uh, are uh, maybe you could say uh, available or your audiences or the people that we added to our, uh, you know, workflow and stuff like that. So, you know, you have all that stuff going on over here. And uh, basically, essentially, you can uh, use audiences to grow your audience. You can use audiences to create contacts, to create sign up forms, tags, segments, surveys, and inbox. And I'm going to be getting into all of that. Now that we're, you know, in your whole audience section, first of all, here is your audience dashboard. Now in the audience dashboard, you can see these three different discrete things. Now, basically, first of all, you can see MailChimp Audience 101. So basically, these are uh, guides to get you started off. So here's what you need to know before you can start importing contacts. Then there is a uh, start with a webinar. So learn how to import and organize various contacts in this free introductory lesson. And then there's browse our collection of resources, which is more ways to grow, which has case studies and tips for growing your audience. Now here it says no contacts, no problem. We will show you how you can grow your audience and add contacts pretty quickly. So first of all, as you can see, your first thing, which is a sign up form. Now, a sign up form basically captures contacts and collects the data you need to grow your MailChimp audience. OK, then there's creating social posts, share posts across multiple channels to increase the reach of your own brand. And then there is social ad where you can create a social ad, tell people about yourself and attract customers who aren't on your list yet. OK, so first of all, now uh, we're going to get into these in a few minutes. First of all, you have all contacts. Okay. Now in all contacts, uh, you can, you know, see yourself and it's, it's obviously it's empty right now, but to add on contacts, obviously, uh, as I told you, you can export audiences from different places. Now to export audiences, uh, you can, you know, use external places like, um, you know, maybe, uh, let's say Gmail, your Excel spreadsheet as a CSV file and, you know, much more. So you can use all these ways to basically export an audience and uh, or import an audience. And you can choose to import your contacts from a CSV file or from another email marketing platform. And MailChimp will also guide you through the process step by step to ensure that your contacts are, you know, properly imported and pretty much organized. So now that you have, you know, your whole account set up and contacts imported, uh, you can also like uh, do the whole, um, you know, designing for your email campaigns. And we're going to get into that into a second to design your email campaigns. are just going to come up here in campaigns. But as I said, let's get into that in a few seconds right now. What we're going to discuss is uh, basically how uh, the workings of, you know, more things and automations go with. So we discussed the audience dashboard in all contexts tab in audience. Let's go and discuss sign up forms. Now, sign up forms are basically used for, you know, as it says, increasing your audience for building an audience, etc. So your audience has one context. One of these are subscribers. So first of all, you have form builder, build, design and translate a proper sign up form and response emails. Then you have embedded forms where you can generate HTML code to embed in your site or blog to collect signups. Then you have subscriber pop up where you can design a pop up sign up form that can be embedded on any site. Then you have contact form, which lets your customers reach you directly with a contact form that sends messages to your inbox. And then you have form integrations where you can create sign up forms using one of their integrations. So first of all, we have form builder, as we can see. So build, design and translate sign up forms and response emails. So I'm going to select this. Okay. 
Now, once you select this, you're going to be redirected over here. So form builder forms and response emails. Obviously, this is going to be uh, you, you can get different forms. You know, first of all, there's a sign up form, sign up form with alerts, recapture confirmation, confirmation. Thank you page, final welcome email. Then you have the unsubscribe forms. Uh, you have update profile emails. Then you have other bit forms, you know, all that stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and, you know, start off. So sign up form URL is going to be this now time to build our form. So to build our form, first of all, you can add a message up here if you want to. So um, you could say John's News Shack provides you with this form. OK, you can write that save and close. So once you save and close that, uh, first of all, the gear is going to be the email address. There's going to be first name, last name. And uh, then obviously the user is going to add a street address and all that stuff. Now you're probably wondering how can you edit this to, you know, um, according to your, you know, requirements, according to what you want. So don't worry, I'm going to, you know, teach you. So to edit it according to yourself, basically you're going to go on add a field. And once you go on add a field, you can get all these fields that you can add. So it could be, you know, a drop down. You can ask for a date, birthday, address, zip code, phone number, website, image, and all that stuff. So you can just, let's say I want a phone number. So I'm going to click on that. And look at that. That field has been added over here. And then you can remove a field by just clicking on that. And to delete it, just type delete, and click on delete. And there you go. So as you can see, that's how you add fields. Now, once you've added stuff, you're going to go and design it. And once you go and design it, this is where you're going to start designing, you know, your colors and stuff. So uh, you can choose a background color. And once you've chosen a background color, you can choose a background for, you know, uh, this stuff. So if I choose that, look at that. Then you have the forum section and in the forum section, as you can see, the background uh, for this color is black. Let's turn it into a yellow. OK, there we go. I turned it into yellow and look at that. So pretty nice stuff. You can uh, design it accordingly to however you want it to be. There's full freedom of design. You don't need to, you know, be restricted by any means. As I said, full freedom. And uh, it's a pretty fun thing to have uh, by your side when, you know, you're working with a program like this. Now, more things, uh, you know, come in, uh, you know, you have referral badge, feed labels and all that stuff. And you can mess around with that to if you want to but uh, i'm just going to leave this out for later purposes because obviously this only depends on what you want this depends on your soul uh creativity so i'm just going to leave this to you then moving on once we've you know created uh what we have wanted to create our sign a form or a build a form we're just going to go ahead and uh, copy the url and start sending it out to people or sending it out in email form and stuff like that so yeah, once you're done with that, we're going to head on to tags. Now, if you don't know what tags are, basically you can create custom tags to help you organize and target your contacts. So let's create a tag. OK, so let's call someone the helper. OK, that's pretty random, but let's call someone the helper. So once you create a tag helper, uh, you're going to come here. And uh, as you can see, if we click on view, uh, you have the members into in your audiences who you can give this tag to. So the helper could, you know, maybe be one of the most important people in your team. So if someone gets the helper tag, maybe, you know, they're very important. So you can let them know that they're important for the project by giving them tags or that can also help other people in your team because that will help them realize that, oh, OK, this person is the helper. They're pretty important. So we should do what they're telling us to do. We should listen to them. So, you know, you get the point. That's what uh, all of these things do for you. And it, it's pretty fun to when you realize that uh, like it's, it's pretty small things that help the team, you know, bind together. And this is one of those small things. Now that we've discussed tag, let's head over to segments. Now here's segments. Okay. And in segments, as you can see, uh, if you're wondering what a segment is, a segment is uh, basically uh, to target contacts by location, engagement, activity, and much more. 
So when it comes to segments, you can create pre-built segments. You know, you have um, a segments with new subscribers where you can make a first grade impression, send a campaign to subscribers who signed up for your emails in the past seven days. Then you have active subscribers where you can drive conversions by targeting subscribers who have opened at least one of your last five campaigns. And then you have inactive subscribers where you can reconnect with inactive subscribers who haven't opened your last five campaigns. So, you know, just uh, go ahead. Uh, create a segment. Okay, I'm just gonna call it something random. And once you do that, I'm gonna go and add condition. And uh, let's go and address contains, let's say, um, Sydney, it's pretty random, let's call it Sydney. And uh, let's say you enter something like this, contain Sydney or contains, you know, maybe USA. And uh, once that is done, if it contains USA, you know, just create a segment. So I'm going to go on review segment and once you click on review segment, there you go. Then you can save the segment and your segment is created. So basically what's going to happen is uh, it's going to, you know, put a contact in a segment if they choose US as their address. So it's a pretty good thing to have uh, if, you know, something is not required by your team or buy something and uh, if someone has that you can just create segments to you know um basically make your work more you could say efficient and uh, you know you could say it's more subtle more robust in my opinion now let's move on to surveys now surveys are pretty famous when it comes to MailChimp. So go from responses to results. Our surveys let you target, gather and manage customer feedback that can turn reviews and requests into research based products and services. So as you can see, these surveys were created using your MailChimp. So as you can see, current audience, John's new shack, obviously. So let's go ahead, get business insights when you collect feedback from your audience. So let's go ahead and create a survey. Now you can't create a survey with a blank uh, template that I'm gonna be doing right now, but you can start with a template. So there's post purchase uh, survey, which is a, on a one to 10 scale. So post purchase satisfaction survey on a one to 10 scale includes an intro and two questions. And there's post purchase emoji survey, where you have post purchase satisfaction survey using emojis, which includes an intro and two questions, post event survey, post event emoji survey. Then you have the where did you hear about us and growth opportunities. So I'm gonna skip the templates. You can go with these if you want to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and create one from scratch, which uh, you know will be more convenient for me. Now, once I go and create it from scratch, here it says, what would you like to learn? You can learn valuable insights from your audience by asking simple questions about their interests, experience, or whether or not they'd recommend you to a friend. So let's go ahead and um, choose radio buttons, okay? So your first question goes here. You could, you know, create a survey. So let's say you're creating a survey about your company. So what do you see yourself doing in our company or something like that, you know, and uh, the option could be a uh, manager and then add another executive and, you know, add another could be, um, let's say the writer. And then there could be the vice executive, you know, once all this stuff is done, uh, you can add more questions if you want to. And uh, once, you know, this is done from there on out just click on continue to design so first of all it comes the branding now for the branding you can include any type of badge that you want to add and for that you're gonna have to upload files into you know the mailchimp file section so you can add brandings then there's custom messages where you have the survey title so um you can you know ask some stuff like um let's call this interview okay let's just call this interview pretty random thing to call it but uh, let's go ahead and call that i'm gonna make it bold and um you could also italicize it for you know just good effect then you have the submit button label you can call it submit or i'm just gonna keep it submit and uh, then you have the thank you message the default is thank you we appreciate your feedback but you can change it to whatever you like you know you can change it to um thank you we will take your response into consideration and get back to you you know just write something like that 
uh, make sure there's no typos we don't want to you know end up with a typo once you do that you're going to click on review and once all of this is done you're going to choose a survey name if you want to i'm going to call it new survey and once you choose new survey here you can see you know you have all the audiences immediate notifications etc click on continue and there you go you've created a proper survey for yourself now surveys are pretty important as you can clearly see because using surveys you can get answers from your audiences you can like i just created a random survey but uh you can create a survey for you know feedback like uh, what do you like about our website what changes can we make in our website etc you know you get the point then there's obviously the inbox section here you can see they say welcome to your inbox use your inbox to manage conversations with your contacts quickly reply to email conversations respond to survey feedback or forward messages from an existing address give it a spin by sending yourself a message so i'm going to skip the tour for now and as you can see you can get all of this where you can compose new messages and everything so i'm going to skip all that and come here now once you're over here basically that's like the whole audience section to discuss now once we've discussed the audience section now comes the fun part and the cream of the cake which is campaigns this is the part which you all have been you know probably waiting for because this is where we're going to create proper email campaigns for ourselves so uh basically email campaigns are pretty simple to create when it comes to you know this sections and to create and design email campaigns MailChimp offers a variety of templates to you and design tools to help you create professional looking emails quickly and easily you can choose from a variety of pre-designed templates or you can create your own custom template from scratch. To get started, click on the campaign tab as I did in the dashboard and click on create campaign. From here, you can choose the type of campaign you want to create such as a regular campaign, an automated email series or a landing page. Now, obviously in the regular, you can use their email builder to launch a campaign in minutes. Then you have automation where you can set up email automations that personalize your marketing and save you time. Then you have a landing page where you can create a landing page that lets people sign up to receive products, promotions, or discounts. Okay, so you get the whole point. Now, once we've understood that, let's go and uh, design a regular email for ourselves, okay? Once you have chosen your campaign type, as I did, you can begin designing your email using MailChimp's drag and drop editor, which works pretty good. You can add images, text, buttons, and other design elements to your email and create a visually appealing and effective message for yourself. So here you are, choose an email builder, uh, first of all, you have the new AI assisted tool builder to optimize your content and help boost your engagement. Or you have the classic builder where you can create a design using their classic interface, templates and style. So I'm going to go with the classic builder for now. Once you've, uh, you know, gone with the, the classic builder here, you can see you have the feature to showcase your product, share your big news, share your story, send a tailored follow up email and uh, etc. OK, so basically just mess around with all this stuff if you want to then you have the basic widgets and stuff like that so i'm gonna go with this one make an announcement which looks pretty cool in my opinion so once you've gone with this layout here you have the drag and drop stuff that starts off okay so drag any of the blocks into the campaign preview on the left go ahead and try dragging a block to the top of your campaign so first of all you have the logo okay so in the logo you're gonna basically paste your own logo that you have and um you know, pasting a logo is pretty easy. You can just paste it uh, by using images. Okay, so I'm going to, you know, drop this block over here and uh, just, you know, paste an image. Okay, I'm going to browse for an image. And for that, you have to upload it into these files over here. I'm going to upload this. Okay, now once a proper file is uploaded, you can just go ahead and, uh, you know, just paste it into your main interface of... Um, you know your basic layout so here's going to be your layout just go ahead and paste it easily now once you've pasted this you can you know add different information under it then you can add different texts above it so you have text you have box text dividers images image groups and stuff like that 
So these are basically how you're going to, you know, create a proper email campaign. Now, once you're done with that and written all the things done, you're, you're going to make sure everything is, uh, you know, in order and according to what you want. And once you're done doing that, click on continue. Now, once you click on continue here, it's going to say, hang on, there's still a placeholder content. Um, your email is saved, but you'll need to remove this placeholder content before you can send it. So uh, just make sure to, you know, uh remove these if you want to and uh, once you've done that set the classic builder as your default email editor in my opinion you should do that because the ai does work good but you know the satisfaction to when you create something yourself is you know it's immaculate and it's totally different so once you're done with that and once you know you've created a proper campaign for yourself uh from here on out you can start sending it out to people uh and to do that you're you know gonna come to all campaigns where you're gonna see obviously you're gonna see all your campaigns over here and to send it out to people uh you can basically edit it and uh like let's say you're gonna click on edit now once you click on edit uh make sure to finalize everything and once everything is finalized you're just gonna go to campaign manager and uh here is where you're going to get, you know, all your multi-channel campaign calendars, your campaign reports and everything, and how you're going to, you know, start sending it off to other people one by one. So it's pretty simple. And then you also have your email templates in campaigns where you can just pick off random templates. Okay. Now the, the, the templates can be picked off from, you know, MailChimp's content studio and in the content studio, you can get other people's products if you want to. But yeah, now that we've discussed about campaign, let's go ahead and discuss automations real quick. Now, if you don't know what automations are, automations are basically uh, a great feature that a lot of, you know, online platforms provide you with. Automations basically uh, are in a way a trigger, which triggers an action uh, like, let's say you've gotten an email. OK, you've gotten an email regarding uh, let's think of something. OK. You've got an email regarding your uh, MailChimp. Okay, let's say someone emailed you. Now, once you get an email or you get a new contact added, that will send you a message on your Slack or maybe your Microsoft Teams that, okay, someone just got added. So that's an automation. Basically, one action is going to trigger another action. So that's what it does. Then, as you can see, you have uh, popular pre-built automations as well, where you can welcome new contacts. You can recover abandoned carts, email tag customers. You have create repeat customers, celebrate customer birthdays, etc. You have all that stuff that you can mess around with. Then you can also create customer journey and all, all that stuff. Okay, we're just going to leave that for now. There is pre-built journeys, and, but you can also build a proper automation from scratch if you want to because a lot of people prefer building automations from scratch because building automation from scratch is, you know, much more, uh, you could say useful when it comes to all this stuff. So create a map of your contacts journey, put your contact on a path that's right for them with a customer journey. You can always be there for your contacts when they need you the most. So I'm just going to name it something random, click on start building. And once you do that, you're first of all going to choose a starting point, obviously. So let's call it sign up. Okay once someone is signed up okay i'm gonna save this as my starting point let's add a journey point once someone is signed up uh send an email okay to you know maybe your customers that okay uh you just signed up welcome to our program you know you can send that email to your customers which is you know a normal automation a lot of people do this when they sign up they get an email that hello welcome to our program you're welcomed and stuff like that so that's how you're gonna you know mess around and work with automations and as you can see it's pretty useful pretty uh, automations are pretty useful to you and they're gonna work great then obviously you have the transactional email which is ideal for sending fast highly personalized one-to-one -one messages via your API or SMTP. Now, uh, let's go ahead towards your analytical section, okay? Now, the analytics section in, uh, you know, your MailChimp is basically all the stuff where you can get your email dashboard with sample data. Using our sample data in test mode helps you explore email dashboard, see how it summarizes metrics across multiple emails, identifies data trends, and gives you the insights to that you need to improve your marketing. And don't worry, this is not your data. It's for demonstration purposes only. So as you can see, you see all these different analytics and this is not your data. This is just for demonstration again. And uh, as you can see, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty nice. Uh, and you can get your head behind this. And uh, it just looks great. Looks good. 
and uh, you can uh, use these analytics later if you want to. But to obviously use this, you're going to have to upgrade to the standard plan that we saw in the start of the video. So do make sure to get that plan before you get started with all of this. You can also get analytical reports. Okay, these could be monthly reports, weekly reports, etc. If you want to, obviously. Now, you can also, uh, as I told you about, uh, you know, the whole managing your contact spaces. So managing your contacts is an extremely important part of, you know, your email marketing and MailChimp makes it pretty easy to keep your contact list organized and up to date. You can use MailChimp segmentation tools to divide your contact list into different groups based on their interest, behavior, or, uh, you know, uh, the other criteria that you're provided. This allows you to send targeted messages to specific segments of your audience, increasing the effectiveness of your campaign. You can also use MailChimp's automation tools to set up triggered emails that are sent automatically based on certain actions or behaviors. For example, you could set up an automated welcome email that is sent to new subscribers as soon as they sign up for your list. Then there's obviously the analyzing your performance, which I showed you because it's pretty important to analyze your email marketing performance to see what's working and what's not. And we all know that MailChimp uh, offers a great range of analytics and reporting tools that can basically help you track the success of your campaigns and make data-driven decisions to improve your results. You can view metrics such as open rates, click-through rates, and conversion rates for each of your campaigns. You can also use MailChimp's uh, A-B testing tools to test different subject lines, content, and design elements to see which variations perform the best. Additionally, MailChimp offers integrations with other marketing tools such as Google Analytics and Facebook Ads, allowing you to track your email marketing results alongside your other marketing efforts, okay? Now, again, there's like, uh, you know, more stuff to discuss, like, uh, you know, you have your whole website thing over here as well. And you're probably wondering what this is. This is where you can create your own website. Now you're probably wondering why does a email marketing platform need a website creation? It just has this feature and it's it's a pretty good feature to have. You can go, uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and design a site over here, but you can go ahead and start designing a site and you can start selling products, etc. And it's a pretty good thing to have by your side if you're you know doing email marketing and making a website on the same platform pretty good features to have uh with you then obviously the website editor is pretty it's pretty abstract pretty robust because you know it's your basic drag and drop and it, it works pretty good works wonders then you have the content studio where you can get a custom designs in just a few clicks you can also Im import your brand and stuff if you want to so, and yeah and then as i discussed there is your integrations and you can integrate with the you know softwares like Shopify, you have Zapier, Google Business, Instagram, Facebook, Google Analytics, WooCommerce, Squarespace, Stripe, BigCommerce, WordPress, Magento, Square, Salesforce, you know all the greats. And uh, you can you know integrate with much more if you just go and browse all integrations. But yeah, uh, that's all there is. So in conclusion, Mailchimp is an incredibly powerful tool for your you know email marketing. With its user-friendly interface, robust feature set, and powerful analytical tools, MailChimp basically makes it pretty easy to create, send, and analyze effective email campaigns that drive results for your business. Now, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, please drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please let me know down in the comments below. And if I made a mistake or an issue in this video, please let me know that in the comments below as well, and I'll fix it for you immediately. But yeah. That's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, uh, again, drop down a like, leave a comment. Thank you for watching this video till the end. That was all from me, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Goodbye.